I just realized that after watching episode 9 that Cassian might have just accidentally saved his entire floor of prisoners. Here's why. So throughout the episode, we were told that some serious stuff happened down on level 2. What are they saying? I think it's level 2. We first get hints of this in the beginning of the episode and the final confirmation at the end where we learn that the Empire has decided to fry the entire level after the inmates there started to cause some trouble. And we are also given the complete explanation as to why. Simply put, due to one of the inmates being shifted into level 2 after finishing his sentence on level 4. And I don't think anyone is really surprised as to why this is the case, especially since the Empire doesn't really care about real justice and is only preoccupied with fulfilling its production targets. And what is important to note here is that the inmates on level 2 probably had the same hopes and dreams as the inmates on Cassian's level. When Cassian first arrives, we get the sense that a lot of the inmates still held out hope and belief that if they quietly served out their sentence without causing any trouble, it would all work out in the end. This was certainly the case for prisoners like Kino, who preferred to stay on the good side of the Empire than to take the risk of making a quick escape. Something which changes by the end of Episode 9. And there's really no reason not to believe that the deceased inmates of Level 2 probably had the same sort of thinking. That is, until they realized that serving their sentence didn't guarantee them their freedom, and there is instead a very good chance for them to just be reshuffled into a different level to serve out another sentence. So naturally, as word spreads across the floor, the inmates become agitated, angry, essentially causing a riot which gives the Imperials the excuse to fry them all. Now, you might be wondering how exactly did Cassian save his fellow prisoners? Well, to know how, we would need to go back to Episode 8, specifically to the scene after Cassian was introduced to his cell. This is you. Kurak. Everything you need here is on the wall. After being guided through how he was gonna live for the foreseeable future, the other prisoners begin to quiz him on the outside world. Word about the public order resentencing directive has spread throughout the prison, and so the inmates had hoped that Cassian, being the newest member of the prison, would have more information on what this means. People must be talking about it. About what? The public order resentencing directive. And Cassian responds that he doesn't really know, much to the dismay and annoyance of his fellow inmates. The conversation is quickly broken up by Kino, and that's that. And this entire conversation is exactly how Cassian saved his fellow prisoners. By telling the other inmates that he had no clue about what the PORD is, it effectively put an end to what could have been a very bad reaction to the new changes brought on by the new directive, especially after all of them suddenly had their sentences increased. They doubled everyone's number last month. PORD. The truth of the matter is that Cassian does know about the P.O.R.D. He himself was a victim of it back in episode 7. As we were shown, Cassian was brought before the judge and slapped on with some fabricated charges. The judge even goes on to explain why his sentence has increased compared to the other previous cases, all due to the P.O.R.D. This used to be a six month sentence. Six years. Six years? But Change of guidelines. All of which was done probably to meet certain detention numbers and to increase the supply of workers for the Empire's labor camps. So had Cassian decided to share the knowledge with the rest of the prisoners that the Empire no longer cares about due process and that innocent and guilty were being sentenced alike, it might have been enough for the inmates to fully realize that they were never going to get out of prison. And this would have been really bad as a violent reaction to Cassian's news would have come at a very bad time when there was no escape plan in place. With no way to deactivate the floors or escape the factory, it would mean that all of them would probably have been fried to death had violence erupted. And if this had been the case, I'm not sure that Kino would have been able to stop them, given that he too was persuaded after realizing that the Empire wasn't interested in due process. In fact, he might have even taken part in this sudden outburst of violence and riots, all of which would have gotten them killed. So Cassie's decision not to say a word here, with his primary intention being to protect himself and to not give away too much knowledge about himself, inadvertently saved the other inmates, preventing them from possibly reacting irrationally and starting to panic about the situation. Instead, as we've seen, Cassian and the other inmates managed to logically make use of their time to plan their escape, greatly increasing their own chances for survival. And looking back at this moment, I've only now come to realize just how much of a close call this was, close enough to make my palms real sweaty at least. 
So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you guys realize that it was a close call or am I just reading too much into the situation? Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. I am The Lost Acolyte and I have spoken.